All right, what's up everyone? Justin here with another video. And for today's video, I actually want to do something I've never done before, which is an apartment tour. And not just anyone's apartment, my apartment. And the reason being, I recently moved to Matsuyama from Hojo. Hojo being a little small area right outside of Matsuyama, which I actually did my first video video over. So if you're interested in that video, Go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. So this new apartment is actually located pretty much in the city center. It's next to a really large shopping mall. It's next to Matsuyama Park, which has Matsuyama Castle on it. And Okaido, which is like the main restaurant and area with, the light, area with nightlife, is only a 10 minute by bike ride. So it's really close. And as a bonus, there's even a basketball goal here, so you can come. I can come down here and play basketball whenever I want. All right. So before I head up to my actual apartment, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right. Let's head up. So before I came to Japan, I obviously did a ton of research on like things to do, places to go, and maybe some differences between Japanese and American schools. But something I didn't do a ton of research on was actually Japanese apartments. And this was mainly just because I was coming to Japan through Jet and Jet was handling all my apartment stuff for me. So it wasn't something I was particularly worried about. But this also meant that when I came to Japan, there were quite a few things about Japanese apartments that surprised me. One of the first things I'm going to talk about, because it's right next to the entrance to the apartment, is that in Japan, they don't really use dryers. We pretty much only use washing machines in Japan, and when we dry our clothes, we hang them outside to dry, which is kind of nice because, I mean, you get the fresh air on them and everything. But yeah, it was definitely something that surprised me. And the second thing that also surprised me was that the toilet and the shower are actually separate in most Japanese apartments. And in the U.S., in my home in the U.S., the shower and toilet were only together, so this was something that also really surprised me. But, I mean, it makes sense, because if you think about, for at least for Japanese people, having the toilet... And the shower together doesn't seem very clean, which I can definitely see why people would think that way. So despite being in a pretty prime location, this apartment's rent is only about 40,000 yen per month or about $400. And this is probably part of the reason why the sink and the bathtub are actually right next to each other. And this is something that is actually kind of common to help the landlord save money and also reduce the rent of the apartment. It was kind of weird getting used to it first, but now that I've kind of made a whole system for it, it's not much of a problem. All right, and now it's time for the main event, the living room. <laughs> So this apartment is only 40,000 yen a month, so about $400, which is quite cheap for a uh, apartment in the city. And you can kind of see why with how small the apartment is, but I mean, it's not all bad. I'm living in the city, so I have the convenience of the city, where before in Hojo, I had the big apartment but didn't have the same convenience. Actually, coming from... Hojo to Matsuyama was kind of difficult because I had so much stuff that I had to get rid of just because I could fit everything in that old apartment and I really had to downsize coming here. But it's not all bad if I get hungry at night. Now it's only one, two, three, four, five. About five steps to the kitchen to grab a snack at night. 
can't really beat that. I mean, come on. Speaking of small, my stovetop is actually so big that it can't fit on the whole counter. There's actually this little piece right here hanging off. I don't know. It's probably fine. The cabinets, for some reason, are so high, so a little 5'6 Justin can barely reach the second shelf. Alright, now that I'm finished showing off how short I am, let's head outside to the balcony so we can see a nice view of the city. So I do kind of want to give a warning since I just moved. I haven't been able to clean up all of the boxes and some of the stuff I couldn't fit in the apartment that I have to get rid of that I brought from Hojo. And so I threw it all outside because this apartment is so small and I can't fit all of it in here. So just uh, forewarn you when you see my messy balcony. As you can see, I have a nice view of the surrounding neighborhood. And I'm also not too far away from Matsuyama Castle, which you can kind of see from my apartment. It's up on that hill up there. All right, that'll do it for the video today. Please let me know down in the comments below what you thought of my new apartment. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, I'm going to actually figure out how I can clean out my mess of a balcony now, so see you next time.